what we have is uh, this venn diagram and multiple layers in the map so today we will see like how to make all this and uh, as usual the data source is from tableau by default like sample superstore data first let me start with the venn diagram so before going into this so this venn diagram what it explains is like how many customers are from east and how many customers have purchased from west and in total like from both regions how many people have purchased something like that so yeah this what this venn diagram says and we will just see how to make this so yeah that's it um axis first uh, we will create a common axis if uh, region So these two nulls are because of the rest of the region, central and west. We will just hide the indicator. Customer. Account the customer. And label. We will also try to put the region in label. got the label just we'll try to put them inside by right. when you <coughs> when you want to change the alignment just click the label and there will be operation uh, there will be option for alignment currently it's automatic we'll change it center and we'll, yeah so now we got uh, the east and west how many in total now we'll try to get in common like uh, the customers who purchase from both east and west before that just we'll try to pull the customer name Region. We'll filter this only to east and west. <clears throat> okay, so now here we can see like some customers have purchased only from east and some from west. We'll just try to think and uh, write about a calculated field just to get. the customers who have purchased from both east and west so create calculated field so we need to write use lod at an customer name level so fixed customer name okay then if region if it is equal to east <coughs> then as we know the lod syntax is fixed dimension we have to do give aggregation here so just some we will give actually there won't be any significance if you give some or average whatever so some okay. so if it is greater than 0 okay after if condition in calculation is valid Hey, um, Jeram, what's with the greater than zero at the end? Uh, 
so the greater than zero what it does is like uh, if region is equal to is then it will give uh, one and and this greater than zero what it does is it's a kind of boolean if it is greater than zero it will be automatically taking it as true oh okay okay zero, we are getting actually generally we used to write then true else false and all but in w like if you give greater than zero it will automatically understand it as boolean okay got it got it. so this is basically it's uh, the result end result is boolean right ah uh, yeah so okay. you can see here so for the one which is in east for example here east and it's true though here it's there in west there is nothing in east so it's showing null and similarly if you see here hmm. uh russell it's like only in east and we are getting hmm. true so this is yeah. the basic idea behind the logic now we yeah. will try to edit it uh, for west as well we'll copy the same thing solution and so if both the condition is true then show so now here we can change, see the difference earlier it was showing true here because we wrote a condition only for the east now uh, now we edited the condition in such a way if the reset sales both in east and west then show me true so here now we can see only where when there is a sales in both east and west there only we get true so now we will go to the next level now we got the logic but we have to return the number of customers so what we will do is we will say if condition on top of these two conditions if this and this then customer name then return with the customer name then so now we got the customer name Yeah. So now, combined field which we wrote, we'll just pull them here. But we no need the name. Instead, we need the count distinct. Okay. Sorry. First, we will create axis just uh, one or zero something. Now here we will pull the combined here. Combined as text, and we will remove remaining all. We no need any of this, and we'll change the circle to text. Yeah. Text. Yeah. We'll make it like like. Center. Okay, now this dual axis and reduce the width. Yeah, I'll reduce the opacity. Okay, sound is decent. <clears throat> Add some colors. Now just. Hide uh, these headers. Yeah, this is just awesome here. This visualization, super. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you can just uh, apply filters and just on this. And uh, there won't be any change in like what uh, in the or something. So in year 2019, this is the stat. Yeah, this is the first one I had for you guys. Any doubts? <coughs> okay. So next we will move to multi-layer okay. map. No, actually one quick question. Sorry. Uh, just uh, go back to yeah. that and show the axis again, please. Once. Axis. Just turn on the axis. This huh?
Ah, ya. Okay, how did you turn it on by the way? Just uh, if you go near the pill, click show header. Once you unstick show the header. Start. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Understood. Okay, understood. Understood. Okay, so the one, two, and the combined. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. Super cool. Okay. Uh, okay. So essentially, what we did was for one, we put them uh, in the east, and for two, we put them on the other one, right? And uh, sort of uh, the five zero one, you calculated, and you sort of put them in the middle, right? Uh, how how did the five five zero one come in the middle? By the way, can you just tell me that? Uh, so just uh, I gave you a field one okay. just for him name sake. Okay. So got it, got it. And, okay. And and then it will exist. Uh, and okay. I didn't sync synchronize. Maybe you can give one point five. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. If you want exactly at center, and now if you synchronize, you will get. You will get it. Okay, okay. Understood. I I got it now. Okay, that's clear. That's clear. 